In this video we'll be taking a look at some slightly more unusual modulation and we're going to be modulating the sample start point of this sample that I've got loaded. So let me just play this to you. So you can see there's a lot of material to work with if we're modulating the sample start point. So the first thing I'm going to do is you'll notice that I've got this arpeggiator loaded. So let me just activate this. I've got it playing 16th notes. So what I've done is I've got a MIDI note in here, just drawn in, but this arpeggiator will trigger it at 16th note intervals. And you can already hear that this has had a kind of choppy effect on it. And what I'm going to do by modulating the sample start point is that every 16th note, as dictated by the arpeggiator, is going to trigger a different point in the sample. And this will create a choppy melody reminiscent of artists such as Fortet and Bonobo. So that's the kind of sound we're aiming for. So let's get into the modulation within Sampler. If we head over to the modulation tab, what I need to do is I need to activate LFO2 because I'm going to be routing it to the sample start point. LFO1 unfortunately doesn't give us that option, but luckily we have this LFO. So let me just activate that. The first thing to do is set up the routing. So if I come to this drop down menu here, I need to select sample offset, and then I need to turn this all the way up to 100 to give it the full effect. Now, if I leave the LFO as a sine wave shape and play the sound, you'll notice that the sample is always triggering from the same point. And that's because of the wave shape we've chosen. What we need to do is come down to the wave type here. And I'm going to use the random waveform for this. And what this will do is it will trigger a different value each time the arpeggiator is triggering a 16th note. And you'll see the effect of this here. Have a listen out for it and also take a look at the waveform on Sampler. So this randomization is really what adds interest to the sound. And now it's just a case of shaping the sound a little bit further. So I'm going to use some filtering here. And let's add some drive. I'm going to use the MS2 circuit. So that's sounding pretty good so far. So I've just dialed in a bit of reverb and added an echo effect. So let's listen to this. So I'm definitely liking the sound of that. And I'm going to play it along with this drum beat here. So that's definitely sounding like how I want it. Something else that's quite interesting to experiment with with this type of sound is if we come down to arpeggiator, we've got this gate control here. And if we kind of close the gate up here, it will create a more choppy sound. Whereas if we open it out, it will create a more blurry sound. And this can be quite nice to experiment with. Perhaps you might want to automate this parameter. So what I'll do is I'll play this again and just demonstrate moving the gate around so you can hear the effect that it has. So this sample start point modulation works really well with melodic material such as this warped piano sound that we've been using, but perhaps you could try experimenting with different sounds such as vocals and also percussion as well. 